Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about Fortnite and its biggest current problem. Now usually, or back in the day, I would make Fortnite videos based on the fact of like what I thought was the biggest problem in Season 5 or how it was the worst season, but that's a lot different, a lot has changed. But before we get into that, I want to say that if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys follow the link in the description below so you guys can be entered in our $25 giveaway and let's get into it. now. Like I was saying, I usually would have made a video that would say, oh, hey, you know, this is why Fortnite it, this season is ass. But, you know, it's pretty apparent this season, most of the things. And I actually don't feel that that type of feeling that I felt at the time. Um, I was able to have a lot of fun this season. I still do have a lot of fun this season. But one of the biggest issues stems from its complete and i think it's been it's been a a, a steady growing issue since i'd say season uh, four see about season four is when it started to noticeably keep going and keep happening and there has been such an increase in things in this game that have completely made the skill gap almost non-existent there is there seems to be no skill gap in, in fact a lot of situations consist of you know oh i'm losing this fight let me blow up the building let me you know now this was already a problem uh since the game started you know or not necessarily since the game started but with rockets and then you know that leveled up to you know the the smg spam meta that leveled up to you know dynamite and uh, etc etc and now we have the boom box and we have the airplane and there's just so many things that lower that skill gap that give people undeserving kills now i'll show you guys i actually have it pulled up on my phone here but i will uh i will i'll post an image of it in the video but uh jack courage dunlop if you guys don't know him um dudes everybody probably knows him he plays a lot with ninja and everything but the dude's awesome anyways he says i think the reason why many streamers pro players feel frustrated at the state of fortnite currently is because all the new items in the game lower the skill gap planes dynamite and boom boxes all let bad players get away with getting kills they don't deserve and i think that's one of the biggest that he's right it's in it and i'm so glad somebody finally said it it's not necessarily that these things are bad but in a game designed around the game was completely designed around building like building was the biggest aspect and so that was what your noticeable skill was when you were able to outsmart your opponent and it's actually what makes it the game fun for me again when i got back into the game i immediately focused on trying to become a better builder and i've literally with that in the settings video which if you guys haven't checked out my settings video i will link it in the description below but that mixed with my settings i've had a lot of good experiences when it comes to the game at the current moment it's it feels fresh it feels fun and it, it you know it, it, but the thing is is that there are so many things even at this current point that kind of just now i know the game should be for everybody and it, it, i definitely think it should but i feel like in a way they they don't care about players that took the time out of their time or out of their day to make it so they knew how to play the game and that they were becoming more skilled players and things like that now i completely understand it you have a lot of players that don't know how to build but i feel like you have an equal amount that don't like care enough to learn how to build and i feel like catering to those types of players the ones that just don't care to play the game the way it should be played and kind of just want it handed to them it's unfair i would rather there be like that's what playgrounds are for that's what creative is for it's they given they've given you the tools epic has given us the tools to become better players to actually practice to put in the work without getting destroyed but instead of doing that you complain and they feel like they have to make the game easier for other players like the boom box was introduced at the beginning of a tournament and it completely affected the way tournament play goes you know i had a friend the other day that was talking about spending a lot of times in planes and things like that and i asked him why and he's like man have you not seen the competitive fortnite scene lately it's kind of a strat and i'm like i don't know i i feel like in a way 
Fortnite is just going to progressively get worse and it's going to lose some of the most entertaining streamers that we've seen in a long time. Some of, uh, some of the most entertaining content creators that we've seen in a long time based on its inability to understand that this isn't what the community necessarily wants. Because I've never seen somebody say, oh, hey, let me add, can, can, can Epic add something so, you know, they can fix this? You know, I've never even even when it came to like some of my more uh, stubborn friends that got used to the game. It wasn't about, oh, hey, I'm going to I, like I really wish they would nerf building. Nobody ever said that uh, they've always been like, oh, I got to get better at that or man, I can't build. But nobody was ever like upset about, oh, hey, you know, they have to nerf building or building's got to go like, yes, it sucks that building fights take a long time, especially when you play skilled players but it's kind of the idea behind a battle royale to be the best player in the lobby to to really get to that point of just having a lot of fun and i don't know guys i just really feel like epic's making bad decisions when it comes to season seven so far or not necessarily season seven but like fortnite in general i feel like it's just gonna get worse but if you guys i, I want to know what you guys think do you guys think that this is a good thing do you guys think that building that that building should be nerfed do you guys think that it's a good move for uh, epic to add more stuff are you guys on the same wave with like you'd rather people get better and them to not do so many like nerf type options towards building and i know guys i know it's weird because like not everybody has the time to put into getting better at building, but I think that was that's part of the fun of the game, of games in general. You're always supposed to, you know, get your ass kicked before you're really good at the game and you're you impress all your friends and stuff like that. So I don't know, but let me know what you guys think in the description below, or not in the description, my bad. What you guys think in the comments section below. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had a nice time watching it. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. You guys can like the video, click that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my videos. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.